Jurgen Klopp announced that he's gonna leave Liverpool at the end of the season and this is a perfect opportunity for us to replay his career. We're gonna start at Mind, try to make them the best team in the world by of course winning the Champions League. Then we're gonna move to Dortmund and try to make them the best team in the world. And finally, the cherry of this review is gonna be for us to take Liverpool oh, well, with Jurgen Klopp and hopefully win the treble with Liverpool. This is gonna be hell of a long review so if you enjoyed that leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel but now let's begin our journey at mines this is how the mine squad is looking and we do have a lot of work to do to turn them into the best team in the world but they do have some really young and promising talents in burkhardt and of course van den berg who is currently on loan at the club from liverpool funny enough so for sure we're gonna try to purchase him very soon and this is our budget for the first season only 80 million i expect a little bit more money to improve this squad but back in the days jurgen klopp was known with signing players and developing them so that's why this is a perfect amount of money for us to start rebuilding this team but of course we're not gonna reject some extra money we sold stefan bell for 2.1 million and widmer for 7.5 million and now we do have around 27 million to improve the squad and the first player that we brought to the club is gonna be but to Rina. We paid a lot of money for him, but he's very young and very talented midfielder, and I'm super excited to see how this boy is gonna develop under Jurgen Klopp. The next thing that we did is to purchase Vandenberg from Liverpool. We paid over 6 million for him, but this is a great deal in my opinion. And now we do have around 6 million to improve this squad. And Jurgen Klopp is known with developing young players, and that's why we decided to sign George Ileni Kenna for. 1.2 million plus one of our strikers. Ileni Kenna is currently 69 overall and he does have so much potential so I'm super excited to see how he's gonna develop at Mainz and the aim for the first season to be honest with you is gonna be for us to finish middle of the table. Everything above that is gonna be exceptional season for Jurgen Klopp. After 15 games we're 6 in the Bundesliga and not that far away from the top 4 which is currently Stuttgart and our next game is going versus Borussia at Dortmund so this is gonna be incredible test for these boys to see how they're gonna perform versus the big boys but they're developing really well like look at Ilini Kenna he's now 70 overall Burkhardt is the top goal scorer of this team but Turina is also having a really solid season so now let's see what are we gonna do versus Borussia Dortmund. Ilini Kenna received a really good opportunity to score the opening goal in that game but he sadly missed that and then after that Borussia Dortmund showed us that we're not ready to finish in the top four what a two amazing goals they scored to win that game but somehow look at us after 33 games man we're currently fifth with the same points as the fourth Wolfsburg and our next game is gonna be versus them at their stadium so if we beat them we're gonna have Champions League football next season this is gonna be incredible the team is progressing really well Ilini Kenna is currently 73 overall the sky is the limit for this guy i am telling you that but look who the top goal scorer is burkhardt with 18 goals and 10 assists what a season this guy is having but now the most important game is versus Wolfsburg. so let's see what the boys can do we're not playing any of the games we're just watching them to make as much realistic as possible but sadly after all of the chances we couldn't manage to break Wolfsburg, and we're gonna finish fifth this first season still incredible season but we missed champions league by only one point man like come on we were so close and before we jump in the second season hit the like button subscribe to my youtube channel and now let's see how we can improve mine the second season we received over 40 millions but i really want to increase our budget that's why we sold some of the players we're not gonna use and check out our budget right now over 60 million and this is a perfect amount of money for us to improve this squad and the first player that we brought is Thiago Almada from Atalanta United what an incredible camp we're adding to the team this guy is gonna create so many goals for Ileni Kenna and of course Burkhardt and with the rest of the money which are 25 millions we decided to improve the right back position and that's why we signed Ivan Fresneda 
from Sporting and Lisbon. What an incredible young talent this guy is. And I do believe that under Jurgen Klopp, he's going to develop into one of the best right backs in the world. And this is right now how the team is looking. We also switched the formation to 4 1 1 2 2. Super weird formation, but we're going to take that. And I really hope that with this squad, we can finish in the top four by the end of the second season. But what an incredible team we already do have in the beginning of the second season. And the boys are delivering after 24 games. We're fourth in the Bundesliga. And we're also in the semi-final of the German Cup. And there we're going to face Borussia Dortmund. But look at us also in the Europa League. We managed to win our group without big of a problem. Problems. And now in the round of 16, we're gonna face Porto. Imagine us eliminating Porto. This is gonna be incredible. But these boys definitely deserve this success that they are having currently. Ilen Ikena is now 78 overall. Burkhardt 83. Wow. Thiago Almara 85 overall. What a progression from this young team. Super surprising to me. Our two camps are currently a two top goal scorer. Ilen Ikena does have 12 goals and Burkhardt 10 but until the end of the season this maybe will change ah, and again man after 33 games we're fifth with only one point less than Leverkusen are we gonna miss again Champions League football like the previous year and our next game is gonna be versus Bayern this is gonna be super super tough for us but look at us we're also in the final of the German Cup and there again we're gonna face Bayern so now we need to play Bayern two times <laughs> hopefully we can defeat them two times out of the two but for that a little bit later sadly we got eliminated from the Europa League in the next round from Benfica but come on this was expected no one expects from us to win the Europa League but look at the boys and their progression I'm honestly telling you we're building something special at Mainz Thiago Almada is a top goal scorer with 21 goals what a first season this guy is having but look at also the others man but Turina 16 goals and 10 assists wow but now let's see what the boys are gonna do versus Bayer in the Bundesliga and we didn't start the game that well Jamal Musiawa took advantage from mistake in our defense and now Bayern Munchen are one go up but then after that Thiago Almada showed why we purchased him what a goal he managed to score to give us the equalizing goal that we needed so much and then after that he assisted for a another goal and now we do have the lead in the game versus Bayern München what a moment for our team this will be if we finish in the top four come on boys and in the 74th minute Thiago Almara added another goal and now we do have two goal leads versus Bayern and this was enough for us to win that game what a moment for our club and we also finish in the top four Leverkusen this time borrow it let's go boys we're gonna have champions league football next season who expected that from us by the beginning of that rebuild and now it's time for the final of the german cup our first chance to win a major trophy in the jurgen klopp career and we did have again a great opportunity but we missed it sadly and then after that our goalkeeper proved everyone that he's a world-class goalkeeper what an amazing saves he made to make versus Bayern and then in the 73rd minute Burkhardt delivered the goal that we needed and this goal was enough for us to win the German Cup what a moment for us in the entire Mainz community we delivered them the German Cup in the second season of this takeover I'm super proud of the team that we created I really hope you enjoyed so far but now let's start the third season and see how we're gonna perform in the Champions League we're starting the third season with a budget of 60 million but look what type of offer we received we received an offer for Thiago Almada for over 110 million from Barcelona but no way that we're gonna accept that offer but now looking at that squad we definitely gonna need a new left back and probably a new goalkeeper to be honest with you our goalkeeper did a fantastic two season at Mainz but if we want to push to the next level like winning the Bundesliga and the Champions League maybe we 
were gonna need a better one and that's why we decided to go for Mama Dashvili. We paid over 40 million for him plus our goalkeeper, but this signing is definitely worth it. For the left back, we decided to go for Miłusz Kerkic from Bournemouth. We paid 10 million plus our left back. And now look at our squad, man. This squad should be ready to compete for the Bundesliga title and perform really well in the Champions League. Thiago Almada is 86 overall. Look at Burkhardt, 85 overall. The boys are developing really, really well. So now let's see how are we going to perform in the Bundesliga and of course in the Champions League. After 27 games, we're third with only three points behind the first Borussia Dortmund and our next game is gonna be versus Bayern so this game can be crucial for our title ambitions but look at us also in the Champions League we're currently in the quarterfinals and there we're gonna face Red Bull Leipzig Come on, man, we should eliminate them without big of a problem. Thiago Almada is now 89 overall. Burkhardt 88. Ileni Kena is 85. What happened to these boys, man? Ileni Kena started this takeover as a 69 overall striker. Now, two and a half seasons later, he's 85 overall. Wow, I'm honestly speechless. So now, let's see what are we gonna do versus Bayern. And this time, Ileni Kena received very early a chance and he didn't disappoint us. I told you that he needs some time to develop himself and now he's ready to score versus the big teams like Bayern München. But sadly, after that, we made some crucial mistakes in our defense that led to two goals that Bayern München managed to score versus us. What happened with us, man? We're starting to bottling our chance of winning the Bundesliga. But we showed some character in the 69th minute. Our captain scored the second goal in that game but sadly this is how the game ended 2-2 we couldn't manage to close the gap to the first Borussia Dortmund so let's see if we still do have some chances of winning the Bundesliga I highly doubt to be honest with you but somehow after 33 games we're still in the title race we do have only one point less than the first Borussia Dortmund and our next game is gonna be versus Borussia München Gladbach at their stadium Come on boys, we just need to win that game and pray that Borussia Dortmund and Bayern München gonna drop some points. But hey man, after 33 games, we still do have a chance to win the Bundesliga. This is incredible. Sadly, Red Bull Leipzig eliminated us from the Champions League and this is super surprising to me because of the progression of our boys. Even our goalkeeper Mamadashvili is now 86 overall. Look at Kerk is 83. But next season, we're definitely gonna try to improve the sense center back position next to Vandenberg we need a better center back we need a leader in the defense and we started the game versus Borussia München Gladbach on the best possible way Thiago Almada scored an incredible goal wow this guy is turning into one of my favorites players to use we turned down an offer for over 100 million for him but sadly after that our defensive problems showed up and we started to concede some stupid goals I'm telling you next season we're going for a new center back we conceded three goals in a matter of 45 minutes and of course this ended our ambition of winning the Bundesliga in the third season but again man overall a really great performance we finished third and we got eliminated in the quarterfinals of the Champions League wow we received 87 million by the beginning of the fourth season but we needed to spend only 53.6 million and this is exactly how much Gabriel costed us. He's the center back that we're bringing to this Mainz squad and I really hope that with his presence we're gonna improve our defense and let's pray that this season is gonna be our season where we're gonna win the Bundesliga and of course the Champions League. And look at us after 32 games we do have four points advantage to the second Bayern München and our next game is versus Freiburg so if we win that game 
were winning the Bundesliga with minds under Jurgen Klopp. What a moment for him this is going to be. But not only that, we're also in the final of the Champions League and there we're gonna face AC Milan. But look at our road to the final. First we eliminated Napoli, then we defeated Liverpool. Wow, this is incredible. And in the semi-final we defeated Pep Guardiola and Manchester City. What a moment for Jurgen Klopp to eliminate Guardiola. And now let's pray that we can also defeat AC Milan in the final. And this boy deserves it, man. Ile Nikena is now 90 overall. Wow, what a progression. I told you that Jurgen Klopp is known of finding young talent and developing them. Also, Ilya Nikena is a top goal scorer with 29 goals, but look at the season of Thiago Almada. He scored 23 goals and assisted 13 times. Incredible. Now first, let's try to win the Bundesliga and then we're gonna think about the Champions League. And we need only 8 minutes to score the first goal in that game. Ilya Nikena, what a striker. I'm telling you, he's turning into one of my favorite players to use. Definitely give this guy a try. And of course, this was an enough for us to leave the Bundesliga. This is first Bundesliga of Jurgen Klopp. What a moment for his career. But now the biggest aim is of course the Champions League. So let's find out what are we gonna do versus AC Milan. Oh, but in the 52nd minute, they managed to score the first goal in that game. And now we're one goal down. Oh, come on boys. We're known with our comebacks. Can we do that again? Oh, yes, we can. Look at Thiago Aumada. Of course, who else? One of the best players that we currently do have in our club. What a goal he scored to equalize that game. And very, very late in the overtime, but Turina received an incredible opportunity and he delivers for us. And this is gonna be the winning goal that we needed. We won the Champions League with Mainz already in the fourth season. Ho, ho, ho. Let's go, boys. This is first Champions League trophy of Jurgen Klopp. But now, of course, we're going to our next challenge, which is going to be to take Borussia Dortmund. So if you enjoy so far this takeover, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But now let's find out how the Borussia Dortmund lineup is looking. This is how the Borussia Dortmund lineup is looking. And here we also do have a lot of work to do. We need a new left back and hopefully a new midfield. Builder. And for that, our owners gave us over 150 million. And it's gonna be great if we can manage to bring some of our minds, boys, like Thiago Almada and, of course, Miwush Kerkic. But currently, they're super expensive to us and we cannot afford them. So that's why we decided to sell some of the players we're not gonna use. And finally, we were able to bring one of our boys. Thiago Almada is joining Borussia Dortmund. What a move this is gonna be for him and of course for us as a team i really hope that Thiago Almada is gonna develop to one of the best camps in the world but this was not enough for us we wanted to improve the squad even more and that's why we sold some other players that we are not planning to use and look at right now our budget man over 130 million and there is one player that i really really want to bring to Borussia Dortmund back and of course this is Jude Bellingham imagine Jude Bellingham under Jurgen Klopp. Oh, this is gonna be a deadly combination. I'm super excited to see how he's gonna perform next to Thiago Almada. What a midfield now we do have. Let's hope that these boys are gonna be capable to compete in the Bundesliga and of course in the Champions League. And after 24 games, we do have 54 points, four points less than the first Mainz. So we're definitely in the title race and our next game is gonna be versus Mainz. Our our former team so let's see what are we gonna do versus them and in that game Julian Alvarez showed us that he's gonna be our striker for this Borussia Dortmund takeover what a goal he managed to score versus our former team this is the European champion and we destroyed them 2-0 Mamadashvili couldn't manage to do anything to save that 
that shot from Julian Alvarez. What a moment for our career at Borussia Dortmund. Maybe we're gonna win the Bundesliga already in the first season. And we do have a chance to win it, but we need to rely on Bayern München. They need to get something from the first Red Bull Leipzig. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to win the Bundesliga in our first season. We also performed not that great in the Champions League. We got knocked out in the round of 16 from Real Madrid. So this is our only chance to win a silverware in the first season at Borussia Dortmund. And these boys deserve it, man. Like, look at the progression of Karima Deyemi and Julian Alvarez. Both of them are 89 overall. Thiago Omara, 92. Jude Bellingham, 92. What a midfield we do have. They're definitely one of the best midfielders currently in the world. Let's just try to win the game versus Hanover and hope that Bayern are gonna get something from Red Bull Leipzig. And we waited until the 70th minute, but Thiago Almada was definitely worth it. What a goal he is scoring, and this goal was actually enough for us to win the Bundesliga already in the first season. I told you guys, we need to rely on Bayern München, and they deliver when we needed to. What a moment for Jurgen Klopp to join Borussia Dortmund and immediately to win the Bundesliga next season. We're going for that Champions League. Come on, boys, we deserve it. What the hell for our next season at Borussia Dortmund? We receive only 74 million? Why? Tell me why, owners. But we needed to improve our budget. That's why we sold Paulinha for a lot of money, to be honest with you. And now it's time for us to improve the left back position and the center back position. And the left back that we're bringing to Borussia Dortmund is gonna be a former Bayern München player, Alfonso Davis. He was currently at Newcastle and his contract was expiring. So that's why we managed to get him for that cheap. He's 88 overall and for sure he's gonna stabilize our defense and now we need a new center back but we don't have that much money so that's why we decide to sell the players that we're not gonna use and we collected enough money to purchase one of our former players which is Nico Schlotterbeck he was also at Newcastle <laughs> what were they building but we ruined it because Schlotterbeck is joining us and what a moment for our team we definitely stabilize our defense like look at it Lisanne Andrew Martinez next to Schlotterbeck and behind them Kobel is gonna be a dangerous combination and I really hope that we're gonna be able to win everything this season. And we did it, we won the Bundesliga for the second consecutive time and not only that, we also won the German Cup so we already did the double and look what's happening in the Champions League. In the semi-finals we eliminated our former team Mainz, wow this for sure was painful and now in the final we're gonna face Barcelona we do have a chance to win the treble with Borussia Dortmund imagine the feeling that currently Jurgen Klopp is having he is for sure super super emotional I'm honestly super impressed by the performance of our players Karim Adeyemi is now 93 overall wow only the sky is the limit for our superstar also Thiago Amara 94 Jude Bellingham 94 but look at also our defenders all of them are 90 or above except our captain Gertrude he's 89 overall but what a team we created at Borussia Dortmund and now the cherry of the cake is gonna be the Champions League. Very early in the game Jude Bellingham decides to take control of this game. What a goal he managed to score versus Barcelona. What did the Barcelona defenders do in this situation? They just let him score that goal man and after that we receive another amazing opportunity but sadly we missed it but this doesn't matter man we won the Champions League with Borussia Dortmund we kept the clean sheet we improved the defense and now of course it's gonna be time for us to join well, our final you. club which is gonna be Liverpool oh I'm super excited to see how the Liverpool squad is looking and of course in the meantime these are the celebrations in Germany we won the treble with Borussia Dortmund <laughs> wow we're making Jurgen Klopp one of the best managers in the 
world. And the Liverpool squad is looking good, but they do have a lot of old players. They still are using Salah, who is now 73 overall. How, man? This is our seventh season. How is Salah still in the game? They also do have Marquinhos, Bremer, Alisson, who are above 30 years of age. And they need a new striker. Raspadori cannot lead us to great things. And look at our budget for us to improve that squad. 350 million. Borussia Dortmund owner, take notes. This is the budget that we deserve. And you know what is coming. We need a striker. And we're bringing one of the best ones in the world. George Ilenikena. We signed him back in the days at Mainz. And now it's time for his biggest move in his career to join Liverpool and of course Jurgen Klopp but this was not enough for us we needed more superstars that we created and this is Karim the dream at the Yemi he wants to play to Liverpool so much and we're making that a reality what a team we managed to create now with Karim at the Yemi and Ilini Kenna definitely the sky is the limit right now for us and after 37 games we do have a chance to win our first premier league title but we need to beat manchester city at etihad and they still do have erling Haaland and pep guardiola this is gonna be a really really tough task for us but if we want to win the premier league we need to defeat manchester city and look at us also in the champions league man we're in the final and there we're gonna face v Villarreal, we should beat Villarreal without big of a problems. Look at our team, man. I'm honestly impressed by the performance of Ilini Kena and of course Karim Adeyemi. What a progression, man. Wow. Ilini Kena is a top goal scorer with 26 goals. Look at also Karim Adeyemi. 20 goals, 13 assists. He grew to 97 overall. Definitely the player of the season, in my opinion. Also, Sobus Light did have a sensational season. He had 20 20 assists, but now the most important thing is the game versus Manchester City. In that game, we didn't have a chance versus them. In under 20 minutes, they scored two goals and basically ended our ambitions of winning the Premier League. We definitely gonna go for a new backline next season. Marquinhos is getting older and older. Look at his overall. Alisson is also decreasing in the overall. Bremer is decreasing. We need a better center back and a goalkeeper. And now let's hope that with these players, we can win at least the Champions League. And we receive very early a great opportunity, but their goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez managed to save it. But look what happened shortly after that. Karim Adeyemi received another opportunity opportunity and this time he is not gonna miss we're taking the lead in the champions league final come on boys we deserve to win at least the champions league and just before the half time dominic sobuslai did have a chance to score another goal but emiliano martinez again saved it and look what happened in the 56th minute ileni can receive this chance and he's not gonna disappoint us we paid so much money for him and he's delivering in the big moments and this is gonna be our first champions league trophy with liverpool this is typical liverpool to win the champions league but to borrow the premier league and next season we're definitely going for the premier league title of course if you enjoy so far this takeover of jurgen klopp's career leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel but now let's go to the eighth season in the eighth season we do have unlimited amount of money and that's why we decide to bring some amazing players the first one is Eder Militao he's gonna be the replacement of Marquinhos and look at the next one our former goalkeeper Georg Kobel is gonna replace Alisson what a move for the entire rebuild this can be we stabilize the defense and now we're ready to win the Champions League the Premier League and hopefully the FA Cup let's go boys we're Liverpool and just after 33 games we do have a chance to win the Premier Premier League we do have 13 points advantage to the third Spurs and if we win our next game versus Fulham we're receiving the Premier League I told you guys we're ready to win everything this season also in the semi-finals of the Champions League and there we're gonna face Atletico Madrid but look at the other teams in the competition Barcelona and Borussia Dortmund come on Borussia Dortmund I really want to face you in the final Rima Diem is now 98 overall 
now these guys gonna reach 99 very very soon he's also the top goal scorer with 30 goals and 12 assists but look at also Ilini Kena man 24 goals 5 assists what a season these guys are having and in the game versus Fulham Ilini Kena showed why he's one of the best strikers in the world what a goal he managed to score and this goal was enough for us to lift our first Premier League title let's go we won everything right now with Liverpool with Dortmund and with Mainz but we're still aiming for that treble with Liverpool let's go boys our fans deserve to witness a Liverpool winning the treble and oh surprise surprise we're facing Borussia Dortmund in the final of the Champions League Borussia Dortmund are with Thiago Almada this is gonna be an epic epic battle and Borussia Dortmund made a crucial mistake that gave Dominic Soboslai a chance to pass to Chouamini and he didn't disappoint us what a goal our CDM is scoring but look what he made shortly after that what a tackle is that man what are you doing we're leading 1-0 in the final and of course he received a red card for that tackle this is super stupid from you Chouamini but we managed to catch Borussia Dortmund on the counter-attack and Dominic Soboslai didn't disappoint us what a goal our captain is scoring and of course this goal was enough for us to win the Champions League wow what a takeover of Jurgen Klopp's career we managed to win the treble with Borussia Dortmund and now we won it with Liverpool I really hope you enjoyed of course if so leave a like subscribe to my YouTube channel but now I'm out and I wish you a great day bye bye